stellar radii. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define stellar radii and calculate the radius of a star using Wien's displacement law and Stefan Boltzmann law. Introduction to Stellar Radii In our daily life, we all have witnessed the sky with different sizes and colors of stars. Have you ever wondered what defines the different colors of stars? For instance, imagine a bar of steel being heated strongly. At first, it glows a dull red. When heating continues, the shine of the steel bar changes and turns orange. In the same way, the colors of the stars depend on their hotness, that is, their surface temperature. By looking at the stars through the telescope, astronomers get details about them by reviewing their color. The color at which the star glows indicates the temperature of that star. The hottest stars are blue in color, whereas the coolest ones are red. How do we measure the size of something which is light years away from us, like stars? Surprisingly, physics, along with mathematics, has given us the method to find the size of stars by determining their stellar radii. The stellar radii of a star can be calculated if the luminosity and temperature of the star are known. Let's dive into the lesson to know more about stellar radii. Let us discuss the stellar radii. As discussed, to find the stellar radii of a star, we must know the luminosity and surface temperature of the particular star. The surface temperature of the star can be calculated by the law called Wien's displacement law of blackbody radiation. Stars emit in much the same way as blackbody emitters. That is, we can make inferences about stars using the theory of blackbody radiators. When a black body is heated, it emits energy to its surroundings as electromagnetic radiation. The shine of the glow depends on the rate at which it radiates, and the color seen is based on the relative intensities of the wavelengths of the emitted radiation. The definition of black body radiation is, the radiation emitted from an ideal black body is called black body radiation. The diagram shows the variation in the wavelength of the intensity of electromagnetic radiation emitted by a black body at different temperatures. Radiation is emitted at all temperatures over a continuous range of wavelengths. The graph peak shifts to shorter wavelengths with increasing temperature. More power is radiated when the temperature is high. Lambda max is the wavelength corresponding to the maximum emission intensity at each temperature. Wien's displacement law states that black body radiation has different peaks of temperature at wavelengths that are inversely proportional to temperature. Mathematically, lambda max proportional to 1 by t can be written as lambda max equal to b by t where Wien's displacement constant b equals 2.898 into 10 power minus 3 meters kelvin and t is the temperature in kelvin. Therefore, the surface temperature of a star can be determined by measuring the wavelength of the peak intensity of radiation emitted by the star. Now, let us solve a few problems for a better understanding. Problem 1, the wavelength of the peak intensity of radiation emitted by the sun is 510 nanometers. Use Wien's displacement law to calculate the value for the surface temperature of the sun. Substituting the given values of lambda max in B in Wien's displacement law, lambda max is equal to B by T, we get, T equals 2.898 into 10 power minus 3 by 510 into 10 power minus 9. By solving, the value of the surface temperature of the sun is, 5700 Kelvin. Problem 2, the wavelength of the peak intensity of radiation emitted by the star is 725 nanometers. Use Wien's displacement law to calculate the star's surface temperature value. Substituting the given values of lambda max and B in Wien's displacement law, lambda max is equal to B by T, we get, T equals 2.898 into 10 power minus 3 by 725 into 10 power minus 9. By solving, the value of the surface temperature of the star is, 4000 Kelvin. Let us find the stellar radii. Scientists usually use the Stefan Boltzmann law to find the stellar radii of the star with the known luminosity and surface temperature. The Stefan Boltzmann law, 
states that the total radiant heat power emitted from a surface is proportional to the fourth power of its absolute temperature. For a sphere of radius R emitting blackbody radiation at temperature T, its luminosity L can be written as L equals 4 pi into sigma into R square into T power 4, where, the Stefan Boltzmann constant, sigma is equal to 5.67 into 10 power minus 8 watts per meter square into Kelvin power minus 4. Standard candles can be used to determine the luminosity L of a star. In addition, we can measure changes in the wavelength of the intensity of the radiation emitted by a star. Therefore, we can find the wavelength lambda max that leads to the maximum intensity. Hence, by substituting the values of luminosity L and surface temperature T in the Stefan Boltzmann law, we can obtain the estimated value for the radius of a star. Let us now solve a problem. Measurements taken of the star Sirius give its luminosity L as 1.6 into 10 power 28 watts with its intensity maximum at 290 nanometers. Determine a value for the radius of Sirius. The Stefan Boltzmann constant, sigma equals 5.67 into 10 power minus 8 watts per meter square into Kelvin power minus 4, and the Wien's displacement constant, B equals 2.898 into 10 power minus 3 meters Kelvin. Substituting the given values of lambda max and B, in Wien's displacement law, lambda max equal to B by T, we get, 290 into 10 power minus 9 equal to 2.898 into 10 power minus 3 by T, which is, T equals 2.898 into 10 power minus 3 by 290 into 10 power minus 9. Solving further, we get the value of T as 1.0 into 10 power 4 Kelvin. Substituting the values of L, T and sigma in the Stefan Boltzmann law, we get R square equals 1.6 into 10 power 28 divided by 4 pi into 5.67 into 10 power minus 8 into 10 power 16. Solving, we get the value of the radius of Sirius as 1.5 into 10 power 9 meters. Conclusion Astronomers measure stellar radii to determine the size of the star, which is a million light years away from the Earth. Red giant stars have large radii and low surface temperatures, and white dwarf stars have high surface temperatures and small radii. So, the different colors and sizes of stars are based on their radius and surface temperature. Summary In this lesson, we have learned that the radiation emitted from an ideal black body is called black body radiation. Wien's displacement law states that the black body radiation has different peaks of temperature at wavelengths that are inversely proportional to temperature, lambda max equals B by T. The Stefan Boltzmann law states that the total radiant heat power emitted from a surface is proportional to the fourth power of its absolute temperature. L equals 4 pi sigma into R square into T power 4. And by substituting the values of luminosity L and surface temperature T in the Stefan Boltzmann law, we can obtain the estimated value for the radius of a star.